Good evening and welcome to the ninth annual Alzheimer's Association Brain Ball. You all look like you showered and did your hair and shined your shoes. You also look like you have a decent amount of money based on how you look tonight. So thank you in advance for all the paddle raises. My name is Mike Farrell and I'm the Executive Vice President and Founding Partner of Main Street Home Loans. I've been an Alzheimer's Association volunteer for the past eight years. Time sure does fly by. I have chaired the Walk to End Alzheimer's for the past four years in Northern Virginia. And if you haven't participated in a Walk to End Alzheimer's, I encourage you to join one near you. It's an amazingly positive day filled with hope and laughter, and yes, a few tears. I became a volunteer because I lost my mother to the disease in 2018 at just 69 years old, four years after her diagnosis. I won't go into the whole story, but those of you who have had the unfortunate experience of dealing with this disease, you know how it goes. You notice some odd things at family get-togethers or holidays, and you say to your brothers and sisters like I did, man, mom's losing her mind. And maybe laugh it off like most kids do with their parents, and then you go on with your life. And then you see it again, and then you see it again. Some minor mistakes or overlooked things around the house, like leaving the oven on, losing your keys, and then it gets worse and worse. My mom forgot how to pay bills, manage money, drive to familiar places all the way until forgetting how to eat and drink, and remember most of her loved ones. It's excruciating to watch anyone go through this, especially a parent. In December of 2021, I was honored to join the National Capital Area Chapter Board of Directors. At that meeting, there was a call to action to sponsor the Brain Ball, I made my first pledge to sponsor the event. The fine folks at the association even got me to record this video for you all today. I love to tease them, but honestly, they ask because they need, truly. And that's why we are here. We're all here tonight to make a difference in the fight to end Alzheimer's. Like me, some of you are here because you currently have or have lost a family member to this disease. Others are here because you have friends or colleagues who are touched by Alzheimer's. And a few of you are here because a colleague asked you to get involved with this important cause. And yes, there are a few of you here just for the free food and drinks. We expect big donations from you folks. Just kidding, but really I'm not. But whatever your reason, we all have one common purpose for being here, to achieve the Alzheimer's Association's vision of a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. Your support tonight is important, and we thank you for that but there is much more we all need to do. More than 11 million Americans are caring for someone with Alzheimer's, including some of your colleagues. We don't often think about how Alzheimer's affects our workplace, but you should know that 60% of caregivers were employed in the past year. Like me, some are sandwich generation caregivers. These are people caring for an aging parent while raising children. Because of caregiving demands, more than half of working caregivers come into work late, leave early, or have to take time off to tend to caregiving responsibilities. I was one of those people. Many cut back their hours, often going from full-time to part-time. Some are forced to give up working entirely. On Monday morning, some of you are going back to your offices. When you do, take a look around. It's likely that at least one person you see is facing the daily challenges of Alzheimer's. Here's your opportunity to make a difference, not only to the people you know, your friends and family and coworkers, but also to the people in our community that you may never meet, but they will know that someone chose to make a difference to help them. Tonight, you know we're gonna ask for financial support and we hope you will be generous with your contributions. Actually, we know you will, but we also hope you will be generous with your time and your connections. Here are just a few things that you can do. Host an Alzheimer's Association education program for your employees. Start a team for Walk to End Alzheimer's. You can join my team right now. I'll give you the link when I see you tonight. Yes, I'm not competitive. Encourage your employees to volunteer with the association. Introduce our staff, our board members, and our Brain Ball Committee to people you know who can join us in making a difference. I just ask that you find something, even so small as to post a picture of yourself on social media to raise awareness at this event tonight. This may be a lot to take in before the first course has even been served, but as we begin our evening, I encourage you to listen to the stories shared and the calls to action. 
and to think about what you can do to be a leader in the fight to end Alzheimer's. And also, have fun. Thank you for your support and enjoy your evening.